Being in the army is worse than being on OnlyFans. Wow. You're selling your body to the government. Being you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You stupid. You must unlearn what you have learned. Yo, I think it is officially time to just take away mics from Mia Khalifa, man. Because she just said some of the most dumbest illogical shit ever like just keep her away from a microphone period <laughs> what's going on youtube it's your boy raw back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe so y'all thought i saw the thumbnail all right so y'all know what we're talking about today so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the next video <laughs> The girlies out here with like the Birkins and the Chanel. The girl they be fucking. She belongs to the street. And I'm not talking about my nurse girlies, my lawyer girlies, my nine to five girlies that you know. Because every nine to five dog you sleep on every nine to five girlies that they's making twenty plus K a month. Okay? I'm not talking about those girlies. I'm talking about the ones where y'all be wondering like, how is she getting all this? She ain't got no job, baby. That cat is clocking in. That cat is working overtime she's tired she's praying for a day off because mama won't let her rest okay and not only that not only do they be getting if i'm being so honest a lot of these girls are like you know instagram girlies they live a lifestyle i don't know do they don't want to do a lot of shit that i want to do and i don't mean that in a way where i'm like y'all don't have the heart you shouldn't have the heart love yourself Okay, like, be for real. They be willing, y'all, if the bag is big enough, they be willing to get cheated on, beat it on, have babies on them, all types of stuff. And that cat still clocking in. That's a lot. Okay? You talking about, you talking about the definition of God's strongest soldier. Front line. Been to battle multiple times. Okay? These hoes don't be getting harassed. A lot of y'all are not built like that because you shouldn't have to be built like that. You know, I seen another creator on here that was talking about the girls that go to Dubai and sh she was not capping. And again, I'm strictly talking about the ones that when y'all say, oh, like she said, when I said, boy, what do you do? They, they don't answer you. Baby, they can't answer you. Because if you want me, if you really want to know what they're doing, they're going outside. That's what they're doing. They're going outside for them for you. I got to be honest, I always kind of thought this in the back of my mind, but I never really was able to like prove it only up until recently. And I'm talking very recent. I'm talking like literally before I came out here to Thailand, where I'm at right now. Recently. So when I went to my friend's house to kick it with him to watch the Royal Rumble, if you follow my travel vlog channel, Unplugged, Unplugged Traveler, um, link is in the description. Check that out um because i actually did vlog my time out there um however um my homie showed me this site of a bunch of females locally in cincinnati that that are escorts bro don't you know i he showed me this website and about four or five of them i'm friends with on facebook <laughs> like these are girls that i've actually like talked like some of them i've talked to on facebook like interacted back and forth on Facebook. So I was just kind of like, and you know what? Come to think of it, these women that I've spoken to, they've always seemed to be able to live a particular kind of lifestyle, but you don't ever really see them working anywhere or where they work. And now I'm like, yeah, that kind of all makes sense. That's why you don't really see them talking about work or how they make their living because reality is they out here selling the kitty. Which is kind of funny when you consider these are probably the same women that um, shit on guys that go overseas, do the exact same thing, 
and then they want to lump them up with passport bros, but that's a whole nother conversation. Let's keep it moving. Would you ever start an OnlyFans? And I was like, how me, me uh, like how could you even ask me that? And he literally goes, like, you post things that are basically like that. What do you have such judgment about it for? And I was sitting there like, hmm. And I really took a step back. I analyzed like the things that I had been posting, the presence that I had on social media. And at the time I was posting like seven stories a day of myself. I was so deep in it. And I had taken three days off of social media, not posting one story, not posting one photo of myself, absolutely zero attention. And this is coming from someone who I'm like, I pride myself on the fact that like, I don't need male attention. I don't need attention from it. I felt lonely. Yeah, not getting that attention. I can't even believe that I was not even aware. And I know this might sound so silly to some people, but when you're so deep in it, you have no idea the effect that it's having. Even just the little like hearts on social media, that's like a dopamine hit. That was a moment where I was like, I have to change some things. Now, when I saw this clip, the very first thing that came to mind was, I can't remember how long it was ago, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe it was about a couple years ago. Remember when Instagram decided to shut down the lights and you saw how women were responding? Um, we can go back um, even a little bit more recent when they were considering taking uh, adult content off of OnlyFans and you saw that one girl that was bawling her eyes out because she said, that's the only way I know how to make money, which just goes to show you the epitome of the dating market. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> yeah. It's, it, it, it's funny how she has that epiphany um, once she decides to get rid of social media and now all of a sudden she's missing that dopamine fit. She's missing that attention that she's getting from men, even though she's probably not even attracted to 99% of them. So it's, it, it just goes to show you, man, as much as women try to sit over here and say they don't value attention from men, they do everything to get it only to turn around and say oh i don't need it and then when they try to discipline themselves from being off social media now all of a sudden you feel lonely as french toast no surprise here let's keep it moving these guys are literally spending millions of dollars on women that do not care about them at all and they are getting absolutely nothing in return now the worst part about this is that it's making some women believe that this is perfectly normal behavior and that they are somehow owed this money for simply existing Come on, Marge. Don't be poor. You already saved one dollar. Guess what? I'm literally getting sixty cents. Okay, you don't stop right now. Three, two, one. You're getting banned. It's wild how these creators almost hate the people who are supporting them, and I, I see the same thing with these OF creators. Like these same people who are funding their lifestyle, they'll they'll then go and talk down on them call them names it's really unsettling honestly how ungrateful a lot of these content creators are for the people who make it possible for them to create content and live off of when that. someone is talking about guys simping for a girl i just don't understand what's wrong with like worshiping a girl there's nothing wrong with that okay girls deserve to be worshipped all right it doesn't mean you're a simp all right, simping isn't bad. Simping is king shit, okay? You're a king if you're or if you're not afraid to simp. I don't want people to come into our community and be like, anybody who gives me money is a simp in a negative way. It can simp me and be proud of it. Why do I like this woman's content? And you can list off your reasons. You can be like, well, she wears a group jumper. Like, insinuating that the only people that would support me and my content would only do so out of the thought of maybe one day me is so insulting to me i find the whole meta of like young boys and men in general on twitch simping for these female streamers and then these female streamers encouraging the simping so that they can give more money i find that to be quite awful pretty pretty gross actually and it's and it's really strange how they will openly like say they should be worshipped that that is that's weird to me like, see, this is one of the things that really disgusts me about women who do this for a living because for the fact that you want to sit over here and just 
down talk your audience like that and the fact that these guys just sit over here and take it they just sit over here and take it and they still give money it's like when women say men aren't men anymore these are the kind of men that i think of but see these are the same women that will shame men into being more like these very same men that they're talking shit about manipulating only to turn around and not ever give any of these guys or guys like this this the time of day you heard the one girl herself uh to think that these guys only give me money because that's exactly why that's exactly why y'all do what y'all do Twitch has become very, very sexualized. They ban guys from even using the word simp. That's the reason why y'all over here are supporting it so much. Because those are the guys that are supporting y'all lifestyle. Men are not stupid. Well, at least men that don't do that anyway. But God, man, those are the kind of guys that are making it difficult and why women think this kind of behavior is acceptable. Just a bunch of enablers. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler, link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all, deuces.